Well, good evening. This is Jim Dalton's guest house. And this is our Monday night online meditation. You're all welcome to join me, whether you're live tonight or whether you're uh, seeing this later on the PAMC website. But everyone's welcome to join for meditation tonight. I'll try to uh, keep, I don't know why. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties at the beginning here. I'm trying to get the speaker into the main. Maybe it'll maybe it will go. I hope so. I hope the speaker is going into the recording. <laughs> uh, from my side, it looks fine and sounds fine. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> so today is March 11th. And <clears throat> we're taking some time out of our busy day to tune in and tune up. And the beginning of our meditation usually includes a quotation from Lao Tzu. So I will uh, read that to start with, and then we'll get down to doing nothing, just sitting still. But first, a message from thousands of years ago from Lao Tzu. Nothing in the realm of thoughts or ideologies is absolute. Lean on one for long and it collapses. Because of this, there is nothing more futile and frustrating than relying on the mind. Nothing in the realm of thoughts or ideologies is absolute. Lean on one for long, and it collapses. Because of this, there is nothing more futile and frustrating than relying on the mind. To arrive at the unshakable, you must befriend the Tao. And I would say the Tao could be called the loving awareness, but it could have many different names. But Lao Tzu refers to it, or this translator refers to it as the Tao. To do this, quiet your thinking, stop analyzing, dividing, making distinctions between one thing and another. Simply see that you are at the center of the universe and accept all things and beings as parts of your infinite body. When you perceive that an act done to another is done to yourself, when you perceive that an act done to another is done to yourself, you have understood the great truth. So simply see that you are at the center of the universe and accept all things and beings as parts of your infinite body. When you per perceive that an act done to another is done to yourself, you have understood the great truth. So that's the... message from Lao Tzu from hundreds, thousands of years ago, hundreds or thousands, I'm not sure. Anyway, <clears throat> so let's take a few moments, take some long breaths, and let the out breath be longer than the in breath.
will ring a gong to invite all beings to our practice. That wasn't so good, was it? And now find a position for your shoulders and spine and contact with the chair and time contact with the floor cushion however you're sitting find a comfortable position and then Tune in to the rhythm of the breath. As we settle in, the breath will slow down and get deeper. So we can Use that as our beginning. In and out, deep and slow. Our intention is to open our hearts to deeper wisdom and understanding and loving kindness. And as we open our hearts, we can dedicate our practice to all beings. Breathing in, breathing out, deep and slow. And as the breath begins to slow down and get deeper, we may discover a calmness and an ease. Finding the breath at the tip of the nose, or the lifting of the collarbones, expansion of the rib cage, or the rhythm, the belly expanding and contracting with deep, slow, 
calm and easy breaths. And the mind may begin to wander. The mind usually has a mind of its own. It will stir up one of the hindrances. So we learn to identify these hindrances along the way, remembering that the mind can be caught up in wanting, wanting things to be different, wanting things, wanting power, wanting people, There's a yearning a desire nature that takes over the mind. When we see that, we can simply return gently and quietly to loving awareness of this body sitting here breathing. The mind may get caught up in a mind of not wanting, irritation, impatience, anger, disappointment, pushing away, pushing against this hindrance until the purpose of our sitting is forgotten and then remembering allowing the loving awareness to return to the breath And sometimes the mind runs back and forth and up and down and all around. And this restless mind can take us away from the calm and easy breath. Suddenly we wake up and then Quietly and easily return to the breath. Other times we may feel sleepy, feel a heavy mind. Mind, it's categorized as sloth and torpor. 
lack of focus, lack of energy, until, again, we choose to return softly and easily to loving awareness of this body and mind. The awareness is easy and calm, takes no energy. It's effortless choice. Here's the breath. Other times the mind may be filled with skeptical doubt. When we recognize it, we remember our purpose. Dwelling in stillness and loving awareness. And when the mind wanders, we begin again, establishing our posture and our breath.
It doesn't matter how many times the mind wanders. It's a simple choice to return to the deep and slowing breath. And sometimes the breath moves into the background and we get a glimpse of the factors of enlightenment. Mindfulness is strong. We can investigate. What are the feelings in the body? Mindfulness is strong. What are the nature? What's the nature of the thoughts? Are they joyful or just quiet and tranquil? Is there steady concentration? Easeful patience and equanimity. Thoughts arise. And just drift away like bubbles on a stream.
coming home again and again. Aspiring to accept myself exactly as I am in this moment. And if I'm suffering, I aspire to greet myself with sweet compassion. Accepting this youngest part of myself. I love you with your Name at the end. I accept you just as you are with your name at the end. I'll do my best to support you. I'll do my best to be there for you with sweet compassion. Remembering to come home again and again. Remembering teachers, benefactors, we remember to share the merits of our practice tonight. With those who have supported us in discovering the Dharma, maintaining connection with the Dharma, 
maintaining connection with the Sangha and with the Buddha heart mind, the loving awareness. supports us all underneath all the rest of the activity. So we hold an image of a benefactor or a teacher in mind and we wish them well. We wish them Real happiness, unconditioned loving kindness. Self-compassion, joy, and equanimity. We hold these good wishes for our benefactor, knowing that what happens to one of us happens to all of us. It's shared immediately. The happiness, the security and safety, protection from harm within and without Health and resilience in the body for when illness strikes, we meet it with an open heart, open mind, and we remember our place in the family of things, remembering our connections. And we call to mind our loved ones and friends. And again, we remember that the good wishes we have for our loved ones and friends shared with every living being. But we focus on a couple of people in our inner circle and wish them well. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be strong and resilient illness strikes. May you wake up to real freedom and liberation. We hold these wish wishes for our family and friends. Again, Remembering what we do for one person or two people, we do for everyone. And then neutral folks, people that live in, on the periphery of our world, people we see walking around the park or going to the store, going to the bank or the gas station or wherever, we open our hearts with self-compassion, 
and smile, and that radiates immediately to the people that at first seem neutral, but like us, they want to be happy. They want to be safe, safe from harm internally and externally, healthy and resilient. When illness strikes, may they discover their place in the family of things. And there are difficult people in our world. We hold them a little more carefully in our hearts, making connection with Quan Yin or some all forgiving deity and let the Quan Yin of mercy who takes on the sadness and the troubles of all the world we express our wish that the difficult people begin to see through the illusions that make them so difficult and get in touch with that all forgiving Kuan Yin deity. May they wake up and find freedom. So we take a few minutes to come back to our posture, our contact with the earth through our feet, through the chair. We come back to our connection to one another as a Sangha. Discovering for ourselves the truth of the Dharma and discovering within the silence and the stillness of the Buddha heart mind. So we dedicate our practice to all beings. And then we ring the gong to represent the three refuges, the Buddha heart mind, the truth of the Dharma, and the Sangha extending back through 120 generations in a long lineage of awakening beings. So may all beings be happy. Thank you for joining me tonight and we'll be back next 
Monday night with another session of Jim's Guest House. Thank you very much.